low protein diet are advocated. The crude protein of feed need to be reduced, and the addition of fat in the feed need to be increased. Studies have found that excess nutritional has very limited to improve the growth of aquatic animals. For example, the protein demand of vitamins is 28% to 32%. But some feed companies have increased the protein level of shrimp feed to 40% to 42% in order to improve the competitiveness of their product. In fact, the excess protein contributes very little to shrimp growth and protein deposition. This will not only lead to a decrease in the utilization rate of feed protein, but also increase the harmful substance in the water, even resulting in a waste of money. In the highly competitive aquatic feed market, almost all products are pursuing high nutritional indicators and high digestibility. Well, Ignoring the decline in growth, immunity, and quality of aquatic animals caused by excess nutrition. The consequence of this is to increase the environmental load and waste the valuable protein source, which is also an important reason affecting the sustainable development of aquaculture industry. In fact, the more critical aspect of future aquatic animal nutrition research is how to use the nutrients efficiency. Therefore, it is necessary to reduce the crude protein and increase the fat in the feed, which can not only reduce the decomposition of protein as energy, improve the deposition rate of protein, but also reduce the cost of feed. For example, the unit price of protein in aqua feed is $20 to $30, while the unit price of fat is only $10 to $15, which is far lower than the cost of protein. Obviously, without reducing the quality of the feed and the breeding effect, it's necessary to reduce the amount of 1% protein in the feed, adding 1% fat that can reduce the cost by 5 to $15 per ton. At the same time, adding by seed can improve the utilization rate of fat digestion and absorption by 10 to 15%, reducing the FCR by 0.03 to 0.05 and improving growth in general under the severe situation of soaring raw material price it's a good choice to choose an additive that can not only reduce feed cost stabilize feed quality but also improve breeding safety